Hey everyone, this is Andrew the Moo with another episode of Undertale, and we are making our way to the lab, just like we were told to do. And we're going to talk to Dr. Alphys and see what all she might need uh, from us. So, oh, there's a note here. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but... As difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Um, oh, it's an elevator. It's not a bathroom. Um, <clears throat> so, oh, what is about to happen? Oh, no. Am I about to die? I'm waiting for the game over sound. Oh, the door actually opened. And there's no way I'm going back up from here, is there? Yeah, I mean, if the power shut down, that, that's all she wrote for me. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. Or create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Oh. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. So power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh no. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a soul's mo monster soul last. Oh, no. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death, the will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Oh. Oh, I have an idea of what's going on now. And we're going to save here. And there's another note scrawled here. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Um, power room. Okay, so that won't open. I know what it says. I just want to see what happens when I go to the left. Alright, those turn on, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for a moment. Let's see what's in the middle room. Oh, I can't even go in there, so it doesn't even matter at this point. So, um, Asgore asked everyone outside the city for uh, monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Hmm. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Um... What did I just do? Uh... Um... You take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come... T oh, 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 okay. I, I got this, I got this, I got this! I can, I can do this without being hit. But nobody came. Uh, memory head A. Join them? 
Oh, no, no, they want me to die. They want me to die, so, okay. This isn't all that difficult, so act, uh, memory head. How about I refuse, see what happens. Oh, well. All right, so, hi, ow, 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 I'm, yeah. All right, seems like it doesn't care anymore. Oh. Hey! Okay, so that's how I defeat those. What's in there? There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. Okay, so I, I know where that goes, but let's... What is this? Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Okay. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. Okay, so that's... That wasn't too terribly difficult, so uh, maybe I head back to the doorway? And that's all I know what to do at the moment. Um, will it open? Uh, will it open this door at least? Okay, it'll open at least this door. So let's see what this says. Tree number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. So that's what we got going on right now. So Alphys actually was involved in some very dastardly misdeeds, it looks like. Uh, one of the bodies opened its eyes. It's Papyrus. It's an empty dog food bowl. Um, seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were to the left of it. So I've got the feeling that this is what I'm going to need to do next. I'm going to need to climb into the bed. Sure, why don't we see what happens when we lie in the bed. Um, well, um, uh, this is gonna be awkward. Oh, oh. That was not what I expected. Uh, it tucked me in, which was rather nice of it. The clock is broken. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and save now, because... And let's read this. Entry number 14, everyone that's fallen down has woken up. They're all waking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Uh, number 15, seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessels back to Asgore. And I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Uh, this is going to turn out bad, isn't it? <clears throat> no, okay. Yeah, this is going to turn out really bad. No, 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 no. All right. I am not going to make any remarks right now. Oh, and everything's in slow motion. And it's speeding up greatly as I move closer and closer and closer, and... There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. Okay, so that, that was not creepy and awkward at all. Um... Hi. Smells like sweet lemons. Act lemon bread. How about we... Hi, hi, hi there. How you doing? Can I hum? You hum a familiar tomb. Lemon bread's body shakes. Are we in Alabama? Oh. Okay, that that kind of hurt a little bit. Um, so humming won't. What if I unhug? You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. That's what they all say. Okay. Okay, and then... Nope! Oh! Trash. Trash. Uh, yeah, I've got to, I've got to use an item. Uh, we have to use a Starfay. I really hate doing stuff like that. Do you think I'm pretty... Oh! Well, trap. Alright. Smells like sweet lemons. Do I think I'm pretty? Um... Scream? Stay here with me. Alright, so we've got to figure out how- Ah! Trash! 
No! No! Uh, Starfay. This is taking longer than I thought. Ah! Yep, okay, 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 okay. All right, act, act, all right. We can, uh, we tried humming, we tried screaming, we tried unhugging. What if we cry? You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. Ah! All right, so I've at least got around that. I'm gonna try flexing. You flexed your arm, lemon bread seemed to remember something. I felt this before. That's one of the creatures! This is one of the creatures that Alphys was talking about. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, see you guys in a minute. So we've decided to go to the right to see what's over to the right. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Okay. <clears throat> There's a switch on the well. Press it. Well, sure. Oh. Hi. Hi. We get to fight against that little thing. These have to be the creatures of animals that we have fought thus far. And we've got to figure out what it is that we need in order to quote unquote defeat them. All right, I'm just gonna walk into that because there's no point. It's the amalgamate. Um, Beckon, you call the amalgamate, it bounds towards you. Flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Uh, um, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got an idea. I got an idea. All right. So this is like the dog. So won't we pet it? You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly. All right. So it's like that one boss battle. Um. Uh. uh oh. Ah. No. No. Amalgamate is striking the walls with its claws. How about we back in? The Amalgamate's feelers rotate quickly. Nothing else happens. Please don't launch yourself toward... Oh, there we go. Because I can dodge these. That other attack's a little bit more difficult to move my way around. Striking the walls with its claws. How about we try playing with it? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Amalgamate brings it back to you. Pr proudly? All right. You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you so ah uh, yep now we get to dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge all right so that worked out well so now we need to pet him some more you pet the amalgamate it starts to generate a stage one happiness froth all right so easy enough you know this is just like the other boss fight for the most part so we pet him again. You pet decisively. Amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Indo Indog Indogony is contented. All right, so we have defeated that cute guy. And is there a key over here somewhere? No, there's no key that I can see anywhere around here. So, um, can I turn this off or the switch doesn't do anything? All right, so I'm done in this area. That was everything to the right, so I guess we got to head back to the left and face after that one creature, but I think it'd be a good idea to save real quick just to be on the safe side. And why don't we see what's over here while we're at it? I mean, it, we might as well at this point. Tree number seven, we'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. I did not do this in the right order at all. Uh, just human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? That would be Metaton. Or a flower? Oh, no, she created Flowey. I bet she created Flowey, because look at the flowers. Oh, that's it. She created Flowey the flower. Oh. Oh! 
Hi there. Um, so how about we hum? You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Ha, ha, okay, hi. Okay, I think this is supposed to let me know kind of what's going on. Um, how about we pray? You kneel and pray for safety. Blank remembers its conscience. Last look. Oh, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay. All right, so that works. Um, we try praying again. I remembered it's conscious. Uh, okay, so oh. All right, so all right. That's not. This isn't so bad. That's kind of easy to dodge. So now, how about we? Um, how about we clean? You wash your hands. Nothing happened. Okay, that's not gonna work. Afraid of? What are you so afraid of? You? All right. That's not too hard to dodge. Um, pick on? You pick on. It seemed effective. Okay. I'm really not sure what to do. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That, that kind of hurt. Um, we picked on it. That seemed to work. Why don't we try cleaning? Your hands are clean enough to eat. Oh. Um, I prayed. It remembers its consciousness. Ow. Um, hum? You hum from your tune, but no one heard you. I, I have made my choice is what it's saying. So, oh, um, how about I pick on again, but it was already picked on. Okay. Made my choice. Look. Um, so, yeah, I'm dying. I'm dying. I, I should be able to do this one more time. So, humming didn't work. Clean didn't work. We'll try mystify. You did something mysterious. Reaper bird seemed to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. This is like an amount... Okay, all of these creatures are like amalgamations of other creatures. Reaper bird seems placated, so I can spare it. Okay, so yeah, that, that works. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the mic. So I walk through here, and... There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out cold. It's some kind of switch blue color slot in the center. Oh, I can't. So there's somewhere that's cold where I can get the key. Um, hmm. I'm missing something along the way. Uh, I miss... Oh, it's that that turned on, the little beep. I'm going to try hopping back into this and see if that does something. As we try to figure out what we're doing, um, we will... Okay, that didn't work. Anyway, I'll try to figure this out. This has been Andrew the Moo. We'll see you next time. So we try to figure out what's going on down here.